Hi everyone and how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a really super awesome day today so far. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Lives Makeup and we are so glad to have you here. And when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you because this is your channel as much as it's my channel. So come on in, pull yourself up a chair today, grab yourself a little snack, a little cup of coffee, a little cup, a glass of wine, a little cup of Coke, a little something, something because today guys, we got a long one today. We've got a whole full um, collection of um, Alice in Wonderland and Sigma. We have the Gucci blush. Um, we also have the new Patrick Ta cream um, and powder in one compact. Um, I've been using this for about three or four days, so I already have my feel on this and what I think of it. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot to go over, guys. So if you're interested in any of this and you want to see this wonderful, beautiful collection that I'm so super excited about. Um, so anyway, stick around and let's do it together today i cannot wait to get started and dive into this collection i've been dying to do this video you have just no idea um but i do want to throw this out there first of all i just wanted to say um thank you guys so much for being so supportive and being so wonderful for me i really do appreciate it you know that i love you guys with all my heart and without you i don't know what i would have been done and how i would have made it through the last um year and a half so i really do appreciate it so everything kudos to you guys thank you so much um, and with that said, let's dive into this. We're going to start off with information first. I'm going to go run through everything really quickly or as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. more. But let's start off with the Patrick Ta um, for face. And this is the new, um, it's the new Major Skin Cream Foundation um, Finishing Powder Duo. Um, this it costs $52. It has 24 shades in it. Um, it leaves a natural finish. Um, it's supposed that the pressed powder formula is cruelty free. It's supposed to be good for pores and on the Sephora site it actually says it's for oily combination skin so that's what kind of threw me off with this launch I wasn't going to do this foundation but then I realized that I was like I was like well um I'd seen one uh person I think had done it and it looked really beautiful on her and I love a cream powder makeup so if you guys are new to my channel um I'm very dry I will throw it up here on everything that I look for in a foundation but I love a beautiful cream foundation I will also link my Wayne Goss video up here um, I went over some creams and stuff in that video because um, I love his foundation. I just was a joy for her. So I was very excited about this, actually. I was a little nervous about it when I first started it, uh, tried it, but I've been using it for three days and I have thoughts on it um, and I'm going to give you my opinion on it and what I think of it. But, um, but this is what it looks like. So it comes like this. I'm sorry, I got my fingerprints all over it already, um, but it does come in. You can tell that I've been using it already. It has the powder and then it has the cream on the top and then it has the little sleeve over top of it to keep, keep it covered. Um, I have it in in medium too and I got it with I think it was with rosy toned in it the shade matches really well which you will see in the video earlier um I have done um I did do a peel this morning um I've been doing a little bit um less in the sun um even though I'm still doing stuff outside because it's still hot outside I've still been working out and doing some stuff outside I just want more and more sunscreen um but um it still matches my neck and my body so um you guys will see it but it's but um it's a really good shade match um, and you know, and with that said, then we're going to go into, um, this is the Gucci blush. So this, I got this shade in radiant pink. This uh, is a buildable blush. It's supposed to be for face and eyes. And according to Gucci, this is what they say. It has shea butter, it has hyaluronic acid in it, and it has black rose oil in it. So one, um, it, and the black rose oil was actually an antioxidant to help soothe the skin. Um, it's supposed to be a formula blend of a uh, pigments and powders that uh, with emollient waxes to deliver a build long-lasting color that intensifies seamlessly um, and if you guys are new to my channel I love Gucci uh, actually we will be using the Gucci um I'll actually be using the Gucci bronzer today. I actually love the Gucci powder too. I, it's such a great product, um, as well as the um, as the Gucci foundation. I absolutely love that as well. It is so good. Um, I love the primer. Um, so there's a lot in Gucci that really impresses me. Um, but this is what the compact looks like. It looks really beautiful. It's stunning, which you wouldn't, what else could you ask for from Gucci? Um, it has the little thing in the front where it kind of opens up. Um, I have used it a little bit already. I've kind of tested it out, but this is the shade. It is so, so pretty. Um, it, let me swatch it for you guys just a little bit so you can see. It is really beautiful. It does have a little bit of a radiance to it, which, but it's a matte, but it's a, but it feels very silky, very, very creamy. Um, I knew that these were going to be beautiful. Um, I just can't wait to put it on my face. Um, 
We do have two blushes this, this go round in the Alice collection. There is a blush as well. Um, and so we will be like um, using both of them. I'll be playing with both of them probably. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of a mixture today, but um, but I can't wait to try it. I'm very, very excited about that as well. I tried to um, have a little bit of Alice in Wonderland colors on a little bit, like a little bit similar to what she wore in the movie, a little bit like the dress. Um, and you know, a little bit of the, that kind of color blue. I didn't have a baby blue, but I do have my Captain America socks on. It's very similar to her dress color. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is, so I have these on my feet, so I'm kind of sort of matching. By the way, too, do you, um, I'm slowly but surely, we are fading into fall. Um, I'm not there yet. Um, I'm doing little bits at a time because last year, um, I got rid of all of my fall decorations. Um, me and my roommate, we purged everything. So there was very, very little kept. Um, so this year I have to kind of go and get a couple new things. Um, we're not going to do a lot, but you know, some of the greenery will go and that kind of sort of thing. But eventually we will slowly but surely get there. Um, so you guys notice in the intro, I'm kind of trying to not put too much, too many fall pictures up or too much fall at one time in your face. Cause I think last Year, I think I already had started doing it right away. Um, so this year I'm trying to just slowly but surely get there. So anyway, just bear with me on the backdrop. We're just, we're getting there slowly but surely. But anyway, so on to the Sigma collection. So this will go up today as you're watching this video. It will be up today on Sigma. Um, I will put the link down below so you guys can check it out if you guys are interested. Um, and, um, but this is just so beautiful. Love the packaging. Love the psychedelic. Look how beautiful it kind of, um, kind of shifts around. Around. I just absolutely love it. It's such a great collection. They do such a good job with these collections. It's so awesome. Um, this is the lip gloss and singing violets that I have on. I wanted you guys to see what the lip gloss looks like on its own. Um, before um, we do, because it come with the lip cream too. So I wanted you guys to kind of see what the gloss look like on it too as well. But it does come with a lip cream. These are $35 for this. The palette was 52 if I didn't mention that. It's 52 for the palette, which I think last year, I think the Cinderella palette was 45 or 48 So it kind of went up a little bit. So the prices have went up a little bit, but I mean, hell, the prices have went up on everything, hasn't it? Um, so this is the um, Cheek Duo. Um, and this is, again, it's the most beautiful packaging it has two different colors in it. it has a highlighter and it has a blush in it um so this is what the palette looks like like this it's so cute because it's got alice falling on it um and then when you open it up it actually has a psychedelic paper in the inside of it and it cool it's so cool it's like a really beautiful insert and then you have the um oh my powder is a little bit she's crumbling just a little my highlighter's crumbling just a little bit but then that and I have the blush there too um I will do swatches and we will kind of insert them I'll do live swatches and kind of insert them in here so you guys can kind of see all of the swatches together so there therefore you can kind of see it all but um but this is what the um this is what the palette looks like again it is all it's very very detailed it's really beautiful it symbolizes the movie really perfectly or the disney version of the movie um just to give you guys an fyi too i love this um book this book was one of my favorite books growing up i mean lewis carroll this this and through the looking glass were like staples in my children's literature um between this peter pan tom sawyer and the wizard of oz they were just like some of my favorite books as a child um and so you know if you guys have ever read alice in wonderland it is a very major trippy 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 story um and um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was a little high when he wrote it, which absolutely kind of feels out everything. <laughs> How it looks like on the inside. We have, again, the same insert in the inside. I'm going to flip this down a little bit so you guys can see it. And this is what the colors look like. Look at all of the detail. And you can get, you get a Sigma brush in the inside of it. But look how beautiful that is. We'll do on one eye, we'll do a color story with one. And then on this eye, we'll do a color story with another on this one. Um, so I thought we would kind of play with both of them and do two different types of eyes. So that way we have like two different types of looks, but it'll look kind of funky together. So I thought it would be kind of fun because it's kind of psychedelic. Um, but it's just a really beautiful collection. I'm super, super excited about this. I can't tell you how excited I am. And then we also have, um, this is the Alice in Wonderland. We have the, this is the brush set. 
The brush set, I think, is $120 for the brush set. Um, and I think for the whole collection, it's $199. I think Sigma actually made it cheaper to get the whole collection than the actual, unless you're just getting the palette or um, what have you. Um, I don't have a discount code with it, but um, you know, but you can definitely where you can get a discount. I think when you do sign up, I think you can get like, it's like 15 or 20% if you sign up for free emails and you can kind of sign up just to get the discount and then do an unsubscribe if you want to. But this is the brush set. We will be using this today. So you get like a foundation brush. It's like a um, foundation brush you can do with like powder or foundation. This is like a buffing brush or you can use it for powder or what have you. This is one that's a little bit more contoured. So you can do like a tighter line with it and then more of a tighter increase brush. But we will be using these. It actually has the emblem of Atlas and then it has like the gesture cat. And then I think it's like, um, there's like a keyhole and there's like a couple of little emblems on it. But the brushes are super, super cute. And if you guys have never tried Sigma brushes before, they are really, Really, really amazing. I do love my refer brushes and I do love my um, BK Beauty brushes. Those are my favorite, but I do love Sigma. There are some matte brushes that I love. I love some Morphe brushes. There's some Rare Beauty ones that I love. So there are other brushes that I do love, but those are my favorite and those are the ones that I use the most. Um, but I'm really excited to have these in my collection because I do love having um, the kind of this kind of color with this kind of emblem and stuff on it. It's super, super cute. And this is the bag that it comes with. Look how pretty. So it's a little bit of a rough glitter. Um, it actually has um, the zipper and then it has Alice on the keychain. You can see her falling uh, down the rabbit hole. Um, and then it has Sigma on the back of it. Um, and then when you open it, you can actually see the inside insert and look how pretty that is. It gives you like all the little symbols from the movie in the inside. So if you are a Disney fan or if you love Alice in Wonderland, this collection would definitely be for you. And especially, and if you like a little color, um, this is a very fun collection. Um, so some of you guys may not be into it because of the color, but I'm, you know, I think this is kind of like an Alice in Wonderland for adults. It's not really an Alice in Wonderland for kids. Um, you know, some collections, like maybe like a color pop or something like that, I think they focus a little bit more on the more younger um, generations. Um, I think this one's a little get, geared towards us or people that love to play and you still have that little bit of inner child in you and you want to play with some color and you want to do something kind of playful. I think this is a great collection for that. Really, really quickly, I do have the Man Eater palette. Um, I picked this up at Tarte. You guys, this palette... I swatched it in Ulta. I can't wait to get this on this fall. This is fall in a, I'm telling you, Natasha's got to run for her money on this one. This one is so pretty. It's got so many beautiful fall colors in it. Um, when I swatch these and you guys see them, you're going to die, but they're gorgeous. If you were in Ulta, because this is an Ulta exclusive, definitely check it out. It is worth your time to go swatch it. If nothing else, even if you don't buy it, swatch it. I'm telling you, I was not going to pick this up because I thought it was very boring. It is not boring. It is like the pigment is insane. So, we're, the, but this video is not about this one. We will get to this. But we're going to have some fun times with this one. I'm telling you, I'm so excited. I'm excited about this palette too. I've got like all these great palettes. So, and you know, guys, I have not bought eyeshadow palettes hardly all year. I mean, I haven't done very many eyeshadow palettes. I probably could, I think maybe I've done maybe four or five at the most. I haven't done a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited because it's like I've got some new ones coming in and I'm really super excited to do some things with it. So anyway, with that said, let's quit talking and let's get into the actual demonstration. Hi, how are you guys doing today? Hi. <laughs> We're very up and close and personal. <laughs> So anyway, I put on a little bit of my Jaclyn. Um, this is the first base eyeshadow primer. I did a little bit of that with a little bit of the P. Louise and Rumor um, O Zero on over top of it. So it looks a little scary right now because we went a little bit more white. But I wanted the pigment to show up really well. So that's kind of like what we did. Um, you know, I totally forgot I wanted to do this really, really quickly. But I wanted to show you guys the comparisons side by side with the palette. Side by side, the Cinderella palette versus the Alice in Wonderland. So this is what the Cinderella palette looked like. It's really beautiful, a lot of really pretty neutrals, just little pops of color here and there. Um, because a lot of people wanted to know whether they are very comparable or whether they do they look alike. So here they are um side by side. I'm gonna put them side by side. So this is what they look like side by side. So they're totally different. 
This one is a lot more neutral. This one has a little bit more color with some pops of neutral. This one has more neutral, neutral in it. Um, so definitely they are totally different. Some similarities a little bit, but not exactly. A lot of the shadows look very different. Um, so I'm really excited, but you could definitely do, um, the Cinderella palette in conjunction with this one, um, and kind of mix them together. So they definitely work well as a collection. So don't feel if you purchased the Cinderella palette last year, don't feel that it will not work for you or not work with this palette. If you're interested in this one too, I think they would work very well together. The Red Queen, we're going to do the, the, on this side, we're going to do the Red Queen. And on this side, we're going to do, um, I'm not sure what I want to call this side, it down the rabbit hole or maybe, you know, the Mad Hatter or something. Maybe I'm not sure. <laughs> I think this is going to be the Mad Hatter. Um, so we'll do the Red Queen on this side. So, um, to start off with, we're going to see this, um, we're going to go in this shade. We're going to go in this shade right here. And this is the shade, um, 10, six. And we're going to kind of go in and I'm going to kind of tap off a little bit of the excess. And I'm going to go in here and we're just going to start working at the crease. The Sigma shadows are so pretty. They blend really beautifully. Um, so I'm not really expecting anything really super patchy or anything not worthwhile in this collection. I'm extending it that it would be really, really pretty. Um, so just going to take that and kind of blend or blending that out a little bit. There will be timestamps down below. So if you guys want to check out the timestamps, you can. Um, if you just want to skip to maybe something that you might be more interested in. Oh, I like that. That's really pretty. I'm going to go in with this one. This one comes in the compact, so they're together. Um, it doesn't really have a number on this one, I don't think. Um, it was called the Medium Sweeper, and it's an E54. And I'm going to take this on the end here, and we're going to uh, we're going to dap and we're going to tap into the queen here. And I'm going to take quite a bit of it. We're going to take a little bit of pigment, and we're going to pop it here on the end. And we're just going to really take that and pop that in there, and just start really building that up. Kind of get it all in there, just a little bit more right here. With um, that same duo into brush, and I'm gonna take this in here, and we're gonna go into this mustard shade that's called Twinning. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, and we're gonna go in here in the crease, and I'm gonna add that right in here more. We're gonna build that up. This is a really beautiful mustard shade. If you saw in my swatches, these pigments are beautiful, absolutely stunning pigments. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of my P. Louise and we're just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna kind of go back in here a little bit and we're gonna kind of do a, just a little bit of a, not much of a cut crease, but just a little something. I just wanna liven this up just a tad. So, um, so for shimmer, we have these two. We have the, the copper one. Um, we have this foiled one here and we have this one here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the bronze one. Um, and the bronze one is called the March hair. So I'm going to take it, look at just like that. And we're going to take it and pack him right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that is, that is a beautiful, that's a beautiful file look right there. That is so pretty. So now let's go into Tea Party. And Tea Party is really exceptionally foiled. So she's very foiled. So I'm going to take Tea Party right in here. And I'll probably get a little bit of my corner. I'll probably have to pick that up. But wow, that is a beautiful color. It's really pretty. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to put some liner on and some lashes and get this side done. And then we will start on the other. We'll do side two. And um, side two, what do we want to call it? Um, we'll do side two. And I'm going to call this one down the rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> off with your head down the rabbit hole <laughs> so see you in a second okay guys so we have the other eye done so i put some lashes on and i did the um i did a little bit of my jacqueline blackberry um liner i did it on the top and i did it in the inside of my eye and then i took a little bit of um um I took a little bit of Mr. Walrus and Mad Hatter or March Hair. I mixed them together and I put it right over top of the liner. And then um, I did some concealer. I did a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury, the beautiful skin. I did that underneath my eyes. Um, so I just right here because um, we haven't done any powder or anything. And then I took a little bit more of the um, the Tea Party right here and I did a little bit right here in a, in a corner. So it turns out really, it's really, really beautiful. We'll see what it looks like with the foundation. I might have to touch up a little bit more, but with the lash and everything, it looks really 
really, really beautiful. I used a little bit of my Lancome doll lash to go with it. So, yeah. So, now that we've got um, off with your head on this one, now let's do down the rabbit hole on this side. Okay, guys. So, now we are ready to get started with um, down the rabbit hole. So, we're going to start off with the Mad Hatter here. We're going to tap in it again. We're going to go back in with this brush here. I just cleaned it. Um, it's the, again, it's the... Um, it's the E27 brush. We're going to tap that in here. We're going to go in and we're going to start working in the crease in this one. This one is a really beautiful, kind of a really pretty matte green. Um, so we're just going to kind of start building up the crease a little bit with that. It's like a really pretty off teal kind of a green color. It's really beautiful. It's really pretty. Um, so I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. This is going to look really crazy. <laughs> I love doing these looks. It's so much fun. That end. So now let me let me dive into um this is caterpillar. So if we're gonna go in a little bit deeper with it. So let's let's dive in it. I'm gonna take the same brush and we're just gonna go in and pack that just like we did on the other side, right in here. And we're just gonna pack that out here. Don't be afraid it like it's not if you don't get it um even or whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna kind of pack it on there this um, E45 Max brush, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna just start blending that out. Just start getting it a little bit more shape. I really like these brushes. These brushes are really good. A little bit of, um, to the same thing, we're gonna go with this dual-ended brush. I mean, actually, this is my Cinderella one, but they're very similar. And I'm gonna take twinning again. We're gonna take that yellow, and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna just take that and kind of blend those together just like we did over here so that part kind of matches a little bit i do want to just throw i just want to throw this out there that it did have some fallout so especially the glitter shades just be careful with that i did notice that um if you did do these i would definitely would do more of a glit i would definitely do the do the eyes first and then go back and do your makeup after um, the pencil brush, we're going to go in with it, and I'm going to get a little bit more deeper in there. So, we're going to go into Lost, which is this really beautiful, it's like a shimmery black. Um, and I'm going to kind of tap into that a little bit, and we're going to go in and add that here a little bit more in the crease. Just right there, just to add a little bit more depth to it. And I'm going to mix that in with a little bit of Curiouser as well. We're going to throw a little bit of that in there together. So you get the black and the brown together. So we're gonna go mix that together right in there just to give a little bit more. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of, um, we're gonna go into Wonderland again. And I'm gonna kind of go over Wonderland with just a little bit more here, just to add a little bit more right there, just to give a little bit more depth. Go in with a little bit of the P. Louise and we're gonna, we're gonna kind of do a little bit of a cut crease on that side too. It kind of looks like so we kind of got like that white but if you see how like the white just really makes your eye pop so if you really want a shadow sometimes to stand out if you just do a black a shadow base or a black base or like a black um, eyeliner and do it and then you want to pack something over it that will give it impact too um, but I want it to be very clean so um, so the white just makes it look really really clean do the shimmers now so um, so we have a couple few we have like um, this one here is white rabbit um, and then we have Alice, um, and then we have Jeshire, um, and uh, we also have Wonderland. Um, I think I'm going to skip on Wonderland. I think I'm going to definitely do, I want to do Jeshire. Uh, Jeshire. Um, so I think I'm going to do it and um, Alice together. So I'm going to go into Jeshire. I hate to mess up the little emblem. It's so cute. So we're going to we're gonna take it and we're going to pack Jeshire right here on the lid. Ooh, that's pretty. That is a really pretty berry shade. I'll just let you guys see it. That's kind of like what it looks like. Ooh, that's beautiful. And it looks so pretty with the blues and a little bit of that mixture of those together, but that is beautiful. Now this one um, actually is a little bit more of, it's almost like a satin. It's not really, um, um, it's not, it's got like a little bit, it's got the shimmer to it, but it's almost like a, not a matte shimmer, but it's got more of a satin finish to it. Um, so it's really pretty. It's not super sparkly, but just gives that really beautiful look to it, but it's really nice. So now um, let's go into, let's go into Alice. So she is a really pretty, um, she's a really pretty blue. I'm gonna take Alice and we're gonna pop her in the center here 
and pop her there in the center over just to give that really beautiful a little bit of like a halo look to it so the even though this is blue so when it hits the the berry it kind of makes it look almost like periwinkle like a almost like a violet And then we're gonna take White Rabbit, and she is a really beautiful foiled shade. And she is definitely foiled. Look how pretty that is. Get that right there in the inner corner. Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna go off camera, and I'm gonna be doing a black brown liner on this one. We're gonna be doing the same thing on the top and inside. And then I'll pick maybe one or two colors to go underneath and do my lashes, and we will be right back, and you will see the final look. Okay, guys, so we are back, and this is the finished eye look. We've got a little concealer on, so I took a little bit more White Rabbit right here, and I did the Jaclyn in Black Brown on this eye, where on this eye we did the Blackberry, um, and I just took a little bit more of the um, Just Show Cat right over top of it, and then just mixed a little bit of Alice and White Rabbit right into it. Um, it looks really beautiful, so it looks really cool, but you know what? I'm feeling naked without some foundation. We got to get some foundation on this face, okay? So, we're going to get that new Patrick Ta on. I'm excited. I'm ready. So, I've already did a little bit of Dream Skin in the center, down the center. And I did a little bit of my Natasha Denona, the Hygiene Skin Glass around the outer skirts. Um, kind of like what I've been doing a little bit lately with as far as primer goes. I have tried this makeup with a few different primers. Um, it's like, it seems to work pretty good with a lot of them. Just keep in mind, though, with this foundation that it... Um, <laughs> Um, and so it does have a different, a lot of different types of dimethicone in it. So just keep that in mind because I know that on Glam Girl Chelsea channel, she had a little bit of a problem with it balling up on her. So just keep that in mind that remember that whatever kind of a primer you use up underneath it, um, it can make a difference. I would probably use something a little bit more water-based. Um, so therefore you shouldn't have much of a problem, but we are going to go in with the Alice brush here. Um, this is in, um, uh, I think it's in the F... 47 and it looks just like the BK Beauty 101 um, and so we're going to open up our Patrick Ta here so this is what it looks like this is what the cream looks like it's very beautiful it's really smooth it's really creamy it goes into the skin really beautifully and the powder is just like silk it is really beautiful it goes really nicely into the skin um, so this makeup guys is really beautiful it is probably it's probably going to be in my top five if not uh because this is a beautiful if it's not i will be very surprised it is a very beautiful uh, cream foundation as you can see it smoothly goes onto the skin um because again originally it on the um on the website, it had said that it was supposed to be for combination oily skin, which is what got me a little bit worried. I was a little afraid that it wasn't going to work for my skin type because I'm so dry that it was going to make me look really matte. But it goes on like a dream. Absolutely stunning. Stays on all day long. It, it does not come off. Um, if you set it and everything, which I usually do, I set it with the spray and everything. It lasted me 16 hours the other day and it looked absolutely gorgeous all day long. Um, it is just really super easy. Look how smooth that is. Smooth. Your pores look beautiful. It blends in beautifully with the beautiful skin concealer by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you know, you can also use it with, um, I've also used this with um, one or two other concealers and it worked fine with it. Um, but just look at that. Just look at that beautiful finish. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is with the brush. So with a sponge, it does really well too. I think the brush, it looks a lot better. Um, personally, myself, um, I, cause I do normally love a sponge. That is my favorite way to apply foundation, um, is with the sponge. But with this particular makeup, it is just beautiful. Now, this is the medium to the shade ranges. It's 26 shades in it, 20, 30, 24 shades in it. Um, but they're a little crazy. So if you have a store and if they do have it in store and you can swatch it, I would rather for you guys to do that. I know that it's supposed to be like an online exclusive. Um, so definitely um, keep in tabs with some of your stores. Because I know Patrick Todd's got a very, in our Sephora, he has a very small gondola. He doesn't have a very big one. So they're not going to be getting the makeup in our store as far as I know, unless it sells really well. But this foundation, it definitely, you can tell that he's made this for a really, for a beautiful, just really pretty it's almost like it's not sheer but it just goes on it you can build it very lightly 
um, you just, you don't need a lot of it at all. Um, I just watched Tara Lynn's uh, video and she wore it for four days as well. And, um, and she just was in the heat and everything and she absolutely loved it. Um, I will definitely leave that video down below. You guys can check out her and Chelsea's channel, um, and see what you guys think about it. Um, but see how beautiful and do got like a beautiful satin finish. Now on my skin, I'm very glowy and I'm in the light. So I am, it is warm in my room today. Um, so it is a little, I'm a little hot. So it is a little, it's hard under these lights, but it's just super smooth, super silky. Look at that. It doesn't settle in lines. It doesn't settle my lines or anything. It just goes in super beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. And then when you set it with the powder, the powder just makes it look gorgeous. Um, and we might be able to set it with, I might be able to go ahead and set it because I don't think we're not using any cream today. So I might be able to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to blend this in a little bit more. So before we do powder, I'm going to go ahead and put on the Alice Lip Cream. I don't know, I might use a liner later, but I'm going to put this on first. I want you guys to see what it looks like on its own. It's a very light color. It's not too, like, over the top. It's like a liquid lipstick, but it's more creamier. So it's not as, um... It's not matte. It's not a matte. It's more of a radiant. And it's really heavy. Mm. I love the ones from Cinderella last year. They were gorgeous. They're a little bit more. They were a little bit more nude and brown tone. This is more pinker. But it does kind of fit with Alice. But she, she's a little pink. She's a little pink. But when we put the gloss over it, it will probably help. So I'm gonna make sure I get that saturated and let it dry down a little bit. I'm going to um I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury and the air um airbrush uh brightening powder. We're gonna do a little bit of that up underneath our eyes because I've not set those yet. In there, and we're gonna pat that up underneath the eye area and smooth that out a little bit. I am getting used to this powder. Um, I didn't know whether I was going to like it or not, but I am really getting used to this powder. And just another FYI real quick, the, um, the Beautiful Skin Concealer. If you guys have not tried it, it is so pretty. It goes on so well, stays on all day, and it doesn't make my eyes crazy. And, you know, I usually have to mix concealers, and this concealer I don't have to mix. It does such a beautiful job. But look how pretty that is. It just looks so nice. I love it. It looks really beautiful. Okay, so now let me go in. Instead of doing with a brush, I'm going to show you guys with a puff with this. Um, so I'm going to take my um, Tati. We're going to take my Tati Blendable, and we're going to go in, and we're going to just take it. I want you guys to see what it looks like setting it with a puff. See, look how it just immediately made it look really super airbrushed. Now you can just take a brush and just put it on with a brush if you want to lightly. That is what he does with it. Um, and you can definitely do that. But if you wanted to just set it just a little bit more, just set it a little bit with a puff. Don't use a ton of it. Don't scrape it. Just tap it in there and just take it. But you can tell how it just takes the shine down, but it does in a beautiful satin finish kind of way. But that is just gorgeous. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Love it. Love this foundation. Definitely recommend this foundation, guys. Definitely recommend. We are ready to do blush. So I have this beautiful combination here with um, this blush here, which is like a beautiful, it's almost like a beautiful tulipy kind of really pretty rose shade. It goes it does good, really good with the lipstick and then the highlighter, which is very beautiful. It's really pretty. It's very shimmer. You don't need a lot of the highlighter for sure. But we are going to go in with the Gucci blush first. And then what we might do is add a little bit of this over it. Because you know we're extreme here and we like that. So, hey. <laughs> so, we're going to, here's the Gucci blush. And this is in the shade Radiant Pink. Um, and I swatched that for you guys earlier. So, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of my refer brush here. And we're going to add a little bit of it here. And we're just going to kind of add right in here. And then I'm going to add some bronzer around the perimeter of my face. That is gorgeous. That is just stunning. Look how beautiful that is. Look how, and it's just a little bit, and it's like a radiant, uh, it's described as like a luminous 
matte. That is really beautiful. It's very soft. It's very pretty. Um, it's very, it feels almost like a really beautiful, creamy kind of a powder feel, but it's very satiny. It's really nice. That is a really soft, beautiful shade. And this is supposed to be um, one of the, it's like a, supposed to be more of a more deeper type of a pink, but um, it's more peachy than it is pink, I think. So, um, so yeah, so I definitely would, if you like, if you like peach, I think you would like this one too, because it's really pretty. Um, so now with the same brush, I'm just going to go ahead and go in and we're going to go into the Alice. And this is the shade Paint the Roses. And we're going to go right in here and just add that right here. And, oh yeah, she, um, definitely, this one's a little bit more, this one is really pigmented. She just goes in and starts doing it. It's a really beautiful shade, too. And I haven't done bronzer yet either, so I'm going to do, I wanted you guys to see the blush before we did bronzer. I wanted you to see what the blush really looks like on its own. But I will tell you guys, though, the highlighter in this pan is already starting to, it's, it, oh, oh, shit, it did, it just came. So the highlighter just came loose, guys, or went everywhere, yay. Okay, guys, so the highlighter just broke, it went everywhere, all over the piece, so it just is very, very soft, so just keep that in mind if you get the compact, so evidently it was cracking a little bit already, so it just kind of like started to do that, so I had to kind of crush it back into the palette, so I won't be able to show that to you guys anymore this go round, but um, still working on the blush, but that really sucks, <laughs> that kind of sucks, oh, that's so pretty. That is really, really beautiful. Ooh, I love it. it. Looks really good. What do you guys think? Both of the blushes look really, really nice. They're very soft. So let me go in with um, my Gucci bronzer. We're going to go in a little bit with it. And I'm going to go in. We're going to use this brush here, the airbrush. I'm going to use the F4035. And um, I have the shade um, 04 in a claw. And we're going to go in and just kind of brush in a little bronzer right through here. In with the blush. A little bit. Look how beautiful. It looks so pretty. And we had to put just a little, I have a, I have actually a really natural mold there and there. It's just, it's very light. So I just kind of added a little bit of color to it. But yeah, it just looks how beautiful and smooth the foundation looks. It looks so pretty. It's just so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Just a beautiful, beautiful, just the way my skin looks. Everything looks gorgeous. So what do you guys think? Um, All in all, guys, I mean, you know, I can't say enough about this collection. I mean, there's just so many good things about the collection. Love the brushes. The brushes worked really good. I especially really love this one because it's a lot like the BK Beauty one. Um, Love this brush, too. It worked great. A lot of the eyeshadow ones worked really nice, too. It's a great brush set. If you're looking for a brush set, it's a really good one. Um, And, you know, um, I did miss a little bit with my Patrick Ta um, spray. I did little towards the end just to spray it off a little bit um but um so the blush palette i'm not going to pick it up because the the highlighter is broken <laughs> but the palette is just gorgeous all of the pigments are really really beautiful i used everything in it um but this one i didn't use this one the only one i didn't use but i used everybody else in here um and it did a really beautiful job i think they're very smooth they look really dreamy they look really pretty um again it's a little bit more of like an adult version um palette then it is more of like a child palette so definitely keep that in mind if you do have the cinderella palette as well they work i think they work really beautifully together so i think you've just got a little bit more neutrals in this one um you can blend them in a little bit more with some of the color ones in this one so it'd be really great the blush and the highlight is the, the highlight is beautiful it's like a beautiful smooth it's got like this really smoothness to it but it's still like got a glow to it but it's really nice but it's not over the top um, it's just a really nice and, uh, highlighter, and the blush, it's just gorgeous, and the Gucci blush, oh my god, this Gucci blush, I mixed the two of them together to give me this flush, I baked just a little bit, I took just a little bit of my Jaclyn, um, baking powder, and just a little bit of that, and just baked just a little bit, but it looks so beautiful together, I love this blush, can't wait to use it more and more videos, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then the lip, the lip duo, um, it's a little more pink, um, than normal, but I will say that, um, I did put the gloss back over top of it. It toned it down some, so it made it a little bit more neutral than when you guys saw it off screen. The lip cream, though, does not dry down, so just keep that in mind. It's more of a glossy satin, 
um, lip lipstick or lip cream. It's not a matte lip cream. So just keep that in mind. And I want to think that the one in the Cinderella was a little bit more matte, but I'm not really sure. Wow. Um, this is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. It's really super pretty. Um, it just looks so good together. They do look good together. Now that I put that over top of it, before the lip cream was a little bit too pink though for me, but I mean, it is great. And I did do a lip liner, so, um, it's doing really good actually. Um, as far as the cream and foundation, you guys, this is so good. So, so good. Um, if you are dry skin, normal to dry skin, definitely recommend you to check this out. Um, if you're normal combination, light combination, you might want to check it out too. I think oily skin could use it. Um, I think if you use the right kind of a primer up underneath it, a little bit more of a mattifying primer, you probably could get it to last the way that you want it to. Um, you know, but as far as dry, normal, and light combination, I think you would love it. It looks really beautiful. Just remember, keep in mind that dimethicone, it's got a trimethicone in it and the first ingredient. So, just don't use anything that's got like a lot of silicone in it when you first um, uh, as far as a primer goes, make sure that you use something that's a little bit more water-based um, as a primer and then put this over top of it because sometimes some silicones don't play well together. So just keep that in mind. But um, yeah, it looks really beautiful. I love the way that it looked. I love the way that the eye looks. Um, it's not super foiled, um, so it's not super crazy. If I took like a little bit more of a glitter over top of this, it probably would be. But I just love it. It's really great. I love it. I'm just so happy with this Alice in Wonderland collection. It was so much fun. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me you know comments down below. Let me know what you think. And you know, with that said, guys, you know, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And you spend it if you made it this long. I really do appreciate it. You know, be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself. And remember to love somebody today. Um, and also make sure to be a little kind to someone because a little kindness can go off a long way. And remember to tell somebody that you love them today because um, you just never know. It's just like it's always good to tell somebody that you love them and you care about them because um, life is way too short. So anyway, with that said, guys, thank you so much. Peace out. Take care. And remember, don't fall down the rabbit hole. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Have a good one. Mwah.